What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the lab with another quest build. So me and my squad have been running at the wreck recently, and we came across one of the nastiest 2K players that I've ever seen behind the sticks. And after a nice little win streak, I hit him with that GG's, and you know I had to peep his 2K card, because I'm thinking, what on earth is this build that you're running with? It was breaking ankles, hitting threes, making any pass imaginable, uh, taking off from the free throw line, dunking on paint beasts, grabbing rebounds, steals, blocking shots, playing great defense. Literally was a unicorn, and he was carrying my squad uh, like Michael Jordan. It could do whatever he wanted. It was quick. I was expecting to find something crazy when I peeped his 2K card, um, but ironically, I had built basically the identical hatch in the builder not two days previously. Uh, this is a facilitating three level two way that is an absolute game changer. I don't know if it's the meta and other people have made this kind of build, um, but basically my version of his build, um, I'm going to reference this dude that we were hooping with, Zay Stacking. shout out to him, he was absolutely killing. I'm going to reference him, uh, him a lot in this video probably, but my build that I had um, was a little bit heavier. Um, his was minimum weight and he was a small forward. Mine was a shooting guard and a little bit heavier. Um, but ultimately, I think I oozed out the badge potential on this version. So I'm going to show you guys the shooting guard version. Um, and then you guys in the comments can let me know if this build is uh, out of this world or was the dude behind the sticks just that good at the game. Um, so jumping right in, you're going to be a shooting guard. You're going to make him 6'8", 210 pounds with a 7 foot wingspan. And then go with that built body shape because we want to look intimidating on the wood as huge. You're going to get your close shot to a 79. And then your driving layup to an 86. And then max out your driving dunk to a 90. It's going to give you 22 finishing badges. You're going to punt standing dunk and post control because you're going to be more of a slasher on this build and not an ISO post scorer. So 22 finishing is going to be amazing on this build. Shooting wise, you're going to max out your midi to a 90. That's the Michael Jordan in this hatch because you're going to hit anything you know inside that arc. And then your three ball, this gets to an 84, but we're going to put it at an 83 because that's that badge threshold. And then get your free throw to a 72. You can allocate a, a couple more attributes uh, to stamina or somewhere else on this build. But for this one, we're going to get that free throw to a 72. That's easily hittable. 29 shooting badges. You know, Hall of Fame snipes, you're going to get those difficult shots, limitless threes, rhythm shooter. This build is nasty. It can hit. Um, and that midi is an absolute weapon. But you can also step out and hit that three ball. I think, personally, you only need around a 77, 78, 3. Uh, to hit consistently if you're good at 2k so having an 83 um, you know that's why moving on to playmaking you're gonna get this pass actually to an 86 it's gonna give you those gold bullets and ball handle you're gonna max that out to an 81 and then your speed with ball this gets up to a 72 on this version I'm gonna put it to a 70 you need to get it to a 69 for that badge threshold but I like the well-rounded 70 that looks good if you do go minimum weight and you want to prioritize speed and quickness it'll probably be a little bit higher uh, you know you could definitely do that but old boy that we were running with um, he wasn't crazy fast um, he was only a few notches above this build speed wise um, and he had a lot of silver badge allocation, especially in playmaking. So he didn't have anything crazy like I was expecting a 95 ball handle or 85, 90 speed with ball. Um, he was around these uh, attribute levels. He was just, he felt like he was playing at a different pace than everybody else. Um, so in the right hands, this build can absolutely be nasty. And 24 playmaking with those gold bullet passer um, is going to be devastating if you are a creator for your squad. And defensively, this thing is no slouch either. You are going to punt interior defense. You're not going to be trying to go one-on-one -on -one against some post score. That's not your role on this build. But you're going to max out your perimeter D and your steelies. Get your block to an 83. Your defense rebounds to an 83 as well. And then get those offense rebounds to a 69. All of these attributes are at the badge threshold, 68, 69. It moves every time you go one or two uh, down. And so this is the max potential of a build like this 25 defensive badges you're going to get gold clamps gold menace um again a lot of silver rebound chaser rim protector um this thing can clamp up one through four honestly um be a great secondary defender 
and uh, you know you don't really need to worry about interior D because you're going to be playing probably with a true center or a true big and if you have this at point guard or shooting guard that's not your role. Physicals, max out your speed, max out your acceleration. Um, you can punt your strength. I'm going to put this at a 30. Uh, get your vertical to an 85 and then max out the rest on stamina to an 80. You can punt strength, you can drop vertical to an 80, you can add more stamina, throw it at free throw or speed with ball. Um, you know, feel free to tinker with this build, but I feel like this is really maxed out. And I've seen it firsthand with my own two eyes. Anyone good behind the sticks can absolutely dominate on this build. Um, so going to takeovers, you can do whatever you want here. I like actually going defensive take, um, like extreme clamps. And then maybe, you know, let's get grody with it. Um, you know, ankle breaking shots or something on the secondary. But you're going to end up with the name facilitating three level two way. That's a hot name. It's not the rarest in the game, but uh, it's definitely a comp build. And at 6'8, you're going to be too tall for those peanut guards. And you're going to be too quick and basically good at everything. This is a perfect, well rounded build. Um, and like I said, shout out to Zay Stacking. Uh, this dude was going absolute bananas and uh, really opening my eyes to what this build can do in the right hands. Um, so if you guys like this build, let me know down in the comments. If you have a better version or if you see something similar, let me know. Uh, you know, more quest builds coming soon. We're just getting started here on 2K22.